the question is about the deficit. And I think it's pretty clear there's a time to spend and the time to save. The time to reduce the deficit in the late 1990s when the economy was strong under Bill Clinton, that was the time to save. Now is the time to spend. As we learned from the Great Depression, that government spending helps prime the economy. Interest rates are low, unemployment is high. I've always called for a second stimulus. But to reduce the deficit, I would get rid of massive subsidies to agribusinesses that make millions of dollars and don't need it. I'd cut special breaks to hedge funds, oil companies, and corporate jet owners. I'll call that one. And uh, I would expand Social Security. I would lift the Social Security cap so that everyone pays their fair share of Social Security. All of that would reduce the deficit. But I want to say something else. When you cut the estate tax, when you give these special benefits to millionaires and billionaires, as Don Beyer has advocated for, as Adam Evans has done, the question is, who pays for it? And in my question, I asked, how would you deal with the shortfall? And I was disappointed that neither of them said how they would deal with it. Would it go to the deficit? Would middle class people pay for it? When you give special benefits to millionaires and billionaires, usually it's middle class and working class people that have to fill the slack. The other part that Don Byer didn't answer is why he called it the death tax. The death tax I've only heard from Tea Party people and from Don Byer and Frank Luntz. To me, it's a way to say that this is a bad tax. But I think it's a good tax because it recognizes that we don't have land in the states in America. So I'm sorry to answer that question. Maybe he will. The time is coming.